everybody's still coming to terms with what's happened in our capital city at the heart of democracy here in London as well. What's your reaction, the reaction from the Muslim Council this morning? You know, we're really shocked at what happened and condemn this attack unequivocally. This is something that is attacking the symbol of our democracy, the values that we hold very dear to all of us here. And, you know, we have to really pay tribute to those who, in the spite of the the attack there, they decided to go in and try and support those who are suffering. The police men and women mm. who went back, and in particular Keith Palmer. We have to ask ourselves, and we, I think most people just want to know what would be in the mind of someone like that. And I guess the repercussions of, of the impact of that symbolism of seeing the devastation he caused at the heart of democracy in Britain. Yes, and I think, you know, this individual clearly wants to have an attack on this, this symbolic um, building and we have to be careful about what that means and what we how we react and respond to that do mm. we give him and feed what what he really wanted in this case uh, you know from from our perspective we, we know many people who have been very clear including our prime minister including the mayor of london that we will not be cowed by terrorists we will not be divided we will not let them divide us in a situation like this and instead we need to be standing up and being and carrying on uh, uh, keeping calm and carrying on, which is the British way. Mick, Dad, one of the, one of the things we said uh, coming into this interview was since 2013, close to 300 people have been murdered in the name of Islam. And we understand and the police believe that this particular terrorist uh, or suspect was inspired by international and Islamic terrorism. Undoubtedly, this has ramifications for Muslims in this country. Uh, what are your concerns uh, going forward uh, that, where this puts the situation with with peace-loving Muslims that live uh, and dwell in the UK and integrate so well compared to the extremists that we see committing these awful acts? I think first it's worth knowing, you know, thousands are killed by these terrorists and, and, and the biggest victims of these terrorists are Muslims in, in countries across the world, in, in Syria, in Iraq, in Nigeria and other places. And this is something that affects all of us. Mm. Uh, and, and Muslims, like everybody else, are are very worried about what's happening here. This is a symbol of our democracy. This is the country that we were born, born and brought up in. This is our capital city. You know, and, and I think that we're all shocked, we're all mourning together as to, as to what's happened and we're, we're worried about what, what will happen in the future. Nevertheless, the problem is that these madmen, or whatever you want to call them, uh, do this often in the name of Islam. We don't know the detail about this attack as motives. We don't know what his connections were yet. We don't know where he's coming from. But people are already drawing links and conclusions. And those links and conclusions are going to have effect, aren't they, on the community. And also, possibly, you could argue a responsibility. Mm. I think that we all have a responsibility of all communities, and Muslim communities as well, to, to try and find a better way. But there's no silver bullet. This is a really quite a difficult situation and the idea that there's one solution or one way to deal with it I think is is perhaps oversimplistic. How and would you deal with it? I don't think there's a simple answer. I, you know, someone having a knife... There must be some ideas that make Of course, that. I mean, of course. People will look to you for agreed. answers, and, that's the trouble. And, and I think that, you know, we do need to work very closely with the police and we've seen so, uh, very positive action from many communities and mm. in terms of their engagement with the police, in terms of their engagement with, um, with the security services. But we are in a situation where somebody with a knife, with a car, these are things that are very difficult to do mm. much about individually. We, we need to think about how can we ensure that the motives of these individuals are, are not successful. We're not cowed by their terror. We mm. instead do not let them win and do not let them divide us.